All right, y'all, come with me to Bao Dim Sum House in West Hollywood. All right, so first thing on the menu are the crispy scallion pancakes. These are pretty decent, but honestly, as you can see in the picture, Trader Joe's is better, more bang for your buck. I would pick those over these. Now, the crispy shrimp balls, they were all right. Weren't bad, weren't great, just okay. The wild crab and shrimp dumplings were no bueno. Don't ever order that, sorry. Hargo shrimp dumplings, that was the best thing on the menu here. Uh, honestly, it was flavorful and it tasted well, especially with the chili oil. Though. Like I said, the wild and crab and shrimp dumplings were very rubbery, would not do it ever again. As you could see, there is me here, eh, but I would change it to a thumbs down. That was a thumbs up, 100%. Now, this was the mochi chicken and shrimp dumplings. While they were really good, I just wish there was more meat because as you could see how much dough there is left over, but still good. All right, so overall, guys, really wouldn't pick that restaurant again. Um, it's overpriced, it's not that great. To me personally, there's one in the San Fernando Valley, Northridge in particular, that I think is way better. It's called A&W, it's more authentic, it's not as expensive and they have a better selection, I think. So I would go check that out instead. Now, I also wanna tell you guys, thank you so much for getting me to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. To me, it's a big milestone and I'm very appreciative of all of you that are subscribed. So. All you have to do is obviously be subscribed to the channel, comment on this video. Now, I see the comments that come in. It says it there. Once I pick, I'll email you. We'll have a private conversation. We'll have to have proof on that you're actually subscribed and everything, and you commented on the video. But once that happens, like I said, I'll pick. I'll put everybody in a wheel, pick the winner. So what you can do is I will give you a choice of bottles that you can pick one of, and I'll throw in a bunch of samples from my collection as well. So it'll be fun. I think you'll guys enjoy it. Again, thank you very much for getting me to 1K. I'm really appreciative of it. On to 2K, y'all. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Jufro. All right, you guys. Jufro Fragrances back again. Today, we're talking about two fragrances. Uh, this holds a special place in my heart. And I wanted to make this video because of that. So this is Soul of Mine perfumes, okay? Uh, this is treasure. This is seduction. Now, the reason why these hold a special place for me is because the perfumer, Olga Yurchenko, is Ukrainian, like me. Uh, but she's actually from Ukraine, where I was born in the States here. Uh, so she came out with these. And the cool thing about it is the proceeds, and there's a, another fragrance she cre uh, helped create as well, that the proceeds are going to uh, the people of Ukraine, which is amazing. A percentage of it, for sure. Uh, and, you know, that's a great thing because, like I said, somebody from the country is helping out fellow countrymen. So I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now, what sucks, and I hope maybe this video will help shed some light in and maybe it will help with it, is that there isn't a distributor uh, from the U.S. that is carrying these fragrances. Yeah, she sent this to me, you know, since I am Ukrainian-American and maybe, you know, with me telling you all this, this will help with... Um, like I said, spread the message to these distributors that they can finally carry it in the States. So we'll first go into treasure, but like you said, now how it comes in, as you can see, like here's the box here. Uh, so here's that, and as we pull it out, and you can see then that's where it obviously fits in. Now the bottles are really cool looking. I actually dig the bottles a lot. Uh, I think I like treasure the bottle a little bit more than seduction, but still great nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, so like I said, we'll get into the scent, each scent, and I'll tell you what I what I think about them. All right, you guys. So first, we'll talk about his treasure. So what do I get when I smell this? Well, pick up some citrus notes in there. I definitely pick up the citrus. I think this is something you definitely expect in the opening. As it dries down, get some floral nuances. Definitely pick up the vetiver uh, in there. I think this kind of reminds me a little bit more of like a little earthy type smell. Not like necessarily it smells like soil, but I think it's something that kind of, if you like earthy type smells, I think this is one you will like. Now, in terms of time of the year, now for me, I personally think, and I did wear it in the cooler month, I personally feel like I think you wear this fall, winter, and spring. Summer might be a little too heavy, and I know sometimes you, people look at it and say, well, citrus with vetiver should be kind of for summer wear. I think you could do it, but I think it might just be a little bit heavy. But I just... Actually, now, now, granted, this isn't a heavy projecting fragrance. I just think it might be a little too heavy for for uh, for summertime. But fall, winter, spring, perfect day. I think would be the best. Now, in terms of setting, 
Could you smell it where it's worked? I think you could. I don't, even though it does have the earthy nuances, again, since it's not a heavy projecting fragrance, I think you could do, but I think it's best suited going out to like a, a, like a lunch date or something. I think this is a perfect type of fragrance for it. Blind buy, you have to, because unfortunately, US distributor does not carry it. And saying all that, guys, just gets a four for rain. I really like this fragrance. Now, again, you, I love vetiver. So to me, most of the time, not by nine times out of a 10, if a fragrance has vetiver in it, I will like it. It's just, that's just something I really enjoy. But I think with the floral nuances in there and some citrus in there, I think this is absolutely beautiful. I would recommend it, especially if you like the earthy type scents and you do enjoy vetiver, this is, I think this is something you should definitely check out. So this one's treasure. We'll go into seduction next. All right. And this one is seduction. So what do I get when I smell this? Well, you definitely pick up some coconut in there, some boozy notes, definitely get some floral in there and amber. Now, to me, I think time of the year, I think honestly you can wear this all year round. I really feel like this is a type of scent that you can just rock in any time of the year. Cold weather will be fine, warm weather will be fine. Just think it works. Setting, again, work is always tricky, but to me, ideally, you are going out on a date whether it's date in the day or it's a date at night, I think this is what is the best setting for it. Because this is absolutely, when the name says seduction, that to me is what, this is a very seductive scent. Uh, longevity wise, I got about eight hours on my skin. Not a heavy projecting fragrance. It's, it does sit closer to the skin, but it's not a skin scent. But it's, it's there, it lingers. It's just like I said, it's not a boom, heavy projecting fragrance. Now guys, saying all that, Guys, this gets a five for rating. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, here's the crazy thing. Doesn't happen too often, but it does happen once in a while. My wife sometimes just was like, when she, I get some fragrances, you know, she's like, oh my God, I need this. This is the one she said she wanted to take from me. Now, the reason why she said she'll be nice enough and not let, and not take it for herself is because, well, I mean, obviously we'll share anyways, but the reason why is because again, it is Ukrainian perfumer, Ukrainian fragrance. So, and that's it. She's like, you know what? I'll let you keep it. But really, and I, and I do agree. I do think if anything, this scent does lean more feminine. Well, I think Treasure, again, I think is right down the middle. I think a man can wear it. I think a woman can wear it. Maybe, I think with the vetiver and everything, it might be more masculine. To me, I think this does lean more feminine. Again, still smells great off my skin. My wife absolutely loved it on me. But this is something where she's like, I think you would probably smell better on me. And probably she's right. Because uh, like I said, some fragrances do smell great on her. But I don't know if I'll let her keep it. But it is one that, like I said, it doesn't happen too often because my wife is pickier with fragrances. But this is one where she's just like, wow, I need this in my life. And again, this is very unique. You don't really see the note combination that's in there. There's also a Devana note in there, which I don't, I've, I don't think I've really seen in many fragrances. So again, this one, it to me is a lot more unique than Treasure. Not that Treasure isn't a unique fragrance. Again, it's, it's just, like I said, it's a different take on the vetiver citrus thing. But to me, this one is just, wow. Guys, I'm telling you, this is absolutely gorgeous. Like A man can wear it, but definitely, I think, more feminine. And again, like I said, guys, something, both fragrances, again, you'd have to blind buy. Uh, I think they're worth it, in my opinion, to check out because of how beautiful they are, especially seduction. And guys, I know I get a lot of guys ask me, what would I get for my wife or my girlfriend? This is one right here. And guys, help spread the message. Please, you know, if enough distributors out here in the States can get wind of this, they'll carry it here. And I think these are two fragrances that I think people should definitely get their noses on. And like I said, right now, unless you're in the Middle East or in the Europe, you're really not gonna, you're not gonna really know about it other than that. So guys, help out with that. Again, proceeds go to the people of Ukraine. You know, like I said, me being Ukrainian, it would mean a lot. Hope that helps guys. Introducing you into the world of Soul of Mind Perfumes. Cheers,